All right, boys and girls, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on this, uh, well, I'm about to start working on this Jeep Cherokee. You will find that from the outside, it doesn't look so bad. I'm actually putting on the uh, selfie stick right now. There we go. You'll find that from the outside, it appears to not be too bad, right? Well. <laughs> she has huskies and she's trading the car in I mean it's bad the dog hair is just so bad I mean it's the windows ugh dog slobber and shit so the job is to get all this freaking dog hair out so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna you can see that right you see it all right it's pretty nasty so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my vacuum I'm gonna put on a rubber glove. I'm gonna bring you with me while I get some of this dog hair out. I'll show you how to remove it easily. Well, it's definitely not easy. There's no easy involved. I should never have said easy, because it's not. Uh, even if you're good at it and you know some cool tricks, it's not easy. Uh, it's time consuming, and that car needs a lot of work. So uh, she, I guess, I'm guessing it's a lease. Uh, it's got 50,000 miles on it, so I, I don't know. Maybe it's not a lease, but she is trading it in. She didn't want to trade it in with the dog hair. So it's up to me to fix it, and that is what I'm going to do right now. So let me get set up and uh, start rolling on this thing, and then I'll bring you back. I'll show you the difference after I remove some, and I'll show you how I do it. So we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Got the trusty, rigid, portable vac. Oh man, so I've got almost half the car done at this point. Notice this seat in the center are pretty much hair free. And the floorboard as well. Got both the mats done. Got the front done. Some stuff, some random stuff here and there. But I'm working on that now. Just give you a glimpse of the back area i got all of this area done what's left i'm not going to fight to try to remove won't be able to do it anyway so that's pretty much all i'm going to be able to get out of that back section you can notice that this section here i haven't done anything to but the nap is so thick i can't get it out so i'm not going to waste a whole day dealing with that so you can see how bad this is compared to that all right so you see what it looks like now after I've worked on it a little bit you see that it's still bad over here but it's not over there still haven't done anything with this uh, driver's area but I'm working on it now so let me get back to work all right I want to show you guys just real quick how I'm doing this I'm pretty much done with the interior I definitely am gonna go over all the upholstery and whatnot with some antimicrobial everything cleaner from detailjuice.com but you can see it looks pretty good at this point still some random stuff the worst part is where the dogs were actually hanging out and this is it's all I'm doing back here feel like I've been back here for days. I'm sweating to death. Um, so I'm working on the last couple mats. I started working on this one, but I decided I wanted to show you guys how I do it. So if you notice, I've got a rubber glove on. Nothing fancy. I get these at Harbor Freight. And the rubber actually helps you to untangle the pet hair. If you notice, I'm able to move it pretty easily and push it into a clump that at that point I can suck it up with the vacuum so 
all this right here can be sucked up with the vacuum now. So I'm pushing it, pushing the bulk into a pile with the rubber glove and I'm sucking it up with the vacuum. Nothing complicated about that. So I'm dying out here. So trying to get a little suntan while I'm working. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these mats and then I'm gonna wipe the interior down, scrub it all down with some Amec, call it a day. I'm gonna hit those windows and then I'll bring you guys back whenever I'm all done. What a pain. All right, boys and girls, she's all done. You can see the door panels and the windows look a lot better. The dash doesn't have hair all over it. The console looks awesome. Seats are all shampooed. I mean, it was bad. This one was really bad with dog hair. All the cracks and crevices are clean. Remember what these floorboards look like? Yeah, they look pretty good now. Is it all gone? No. Combination of budget and time won't allow it all to be gone, but I could have probably got a little bit more out of here if I'd spend, shit, probably eight to 10 more hours. This was the worst part, just because this is where the dogs were, this and the floorboards up there, but I'd have to literally spend days at this and the, bu the budget doesn't warrant it. And the reality is she's trying to sell it. So I'm cool with the results I got. Windows nice and clear. Floorboards look awesome. Seats look great. Definitely presentable now. She had stuff spilled in all the nooks and crannies. I got all that stuff cleaned out. I'm sure you remember what this area looked like. It was disgusting. It's good now. So, anyway, this has been a Jeep Cherokee pet hair removal and interior shampoo. Um, I really didn't have to go super deep into this. It was more like just getting the dog hair out of there and then just scrubbing everything down real fast. Um, if she were going to keep it, I'd probably go deeper with the shampoo. Um, I definitely would spend more time on the dog hair, which would warrant more money. Just to let you guys know, because I promised you in a, a couple videos ago, a lot of detailers aren't telling you what they're charging these days, and uh, I really don't care. I charged her $300 for this job, and um, the reality is, for the $300, bucks, I spent maybe five hours on the car, not a bad deal. Um, I use antimicrobial everything cleaner from my signature series at detailjuice.com uh, to scrub everything down. And then uh, after I, I used the cleaner, I let it dry a little bit and did another vacuum. And then after that vacuum, I wiped everything down with just a light wipe with uh, Forever Rinseless, uh, including the windows. So, Wipe down the gauge cluster, the screen, all that with the Forever Rinseless. But she's good to go. I didn't do anything with the exterior. So, if you got questions for me about my detailing service or you want to check out, uh, you, well, you want more intimate details about my products, 813-846-4406 uh, or uh, find me on Facebook. Instagram is uh, Gary at gary.dean.35 so one more walk around i uh, got my brand new ceramic acrylics coating and supporting products that i'm i'm launching august 1st 2018 which is uh about a week away uh, i also have uh brand new marine series products which you guys will see videos of that i got a lot of content coming a lot of content coming more of the untold truth and detailing, more of the stuff that you guys love. I'm working that out right now. I'm back, baby, and I'm stronger than ever. So anyway, pet hair removal, done deal. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your trust and support. If you got any questions for me, send me a message, leave me a voicemail, send me a text, whatever. 
thanks again. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that take the time to watch these babbling videos. But thanks again, guys. Have a great day.